Hello world, welcome back to Subway 23's Thought Experiment. Well, after three days straight of trying to make a, a Unity net, uh, networking uh, project start, um, I just decided I needed a break and I was going to check out and see what was on the store, see if anything new was on, and there's a whole bunch of new stuff. So, in this one, I'm just I'm going to do one at a time, but... Um, uh, Yes, frustration. Still can't do Bluetooth controllers. Unity networking is really complicated if you're not doing something that's first-person shooter. Um, and my debugger in Visual Studio still does not work, and it's been multiple weeks. I'm losing it. Uh, anyways, here we go. Tower blocks. Uh oh, that crashed, didn't it? Identity mine. All right. So I did look at this one. It's the only one I got to look at beforehand. And there were some instructions. This does something pretty cool, and I'm pretty impressed that someone figured this one out. All right. So. With this hand and hold, I can pick something up. At the same time, if I use this hand and hold, I can rotate it. It doesn't seem great. And it looks like if you get your hands crossed or anything like that, you can't see it, so you're very limited on the amount of movement, but I'm just impressed that someone figured it out at all. Because I was really under the impression it was only going to use one hand at a time. Hey, plus you can play Super Big Jenga. <laughs> yeah, pretty much anything left. Ooh, really? Huh. I guess it's balancing it back out. All right, that's pretty neat. Great jobs, Identity Mind, on figuring this one out. I'm pretty sure everything I've heard from uh, Microsoft said that it wasn't designed to handle both at once. Uh, I'd, I'd be curious to see what you guys got coming next. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.